this with the sun, the cold, and the way you are. The things you said had me going good, but it left a scar. You invite me, and then you turn me down. Get my hopes up, and then you're gone. I fall for every word that you say to me. So hard, being drawn to you so easily. I am stuck in a loop of chemicals. What's the point? Hey everyone, welcome to today's deep clean with me. My name's Becca if you're new here and I'm gonna show you my deep cleaning routine today. My house is a real life mess, so I thought I would give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation. So if that's what you're looking for, you came to the right place. If you're new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I do cleaning, organizing, and DIYs and you will not wanna miss everything that I have coming out soon. As you can tell, we are starting off in the kitchen today. I have not cleaned this vent thing in far, far too long. It was disgusting and so dusty, so I had to hit it with the duster and use a disinfectant cloth to really get everything off. So I clean my countertops daily and I clean my stove almost every day unless it doesn't get used because we do the air fryer or something but I do not pull everything out and clean the backsplash more than once a week I'd say. I usually try once a week to pull everything out and really get underneath it and get it dusted and whatnot. Also one of the biggest questions I get over here on my channel is what is this thing? This is a water line. It's called a pot filler. Um, and it was an add-on that we did to our home because we have an island in the middle of the kitchen and it just seemed easier to be able to have it right there for cooking with water and pastas and all of that stuff. And honestly, it has been such a great add-on. I really enjoy using it. I love having it. It's just one of those things that you didn't realize you needed until you have it. <laughs> but we are just wiping down the backsplash, like I said, because it does not get wiped down nearly enough and I try to do it once a week but sometimes I can't get to it so it all just depends on how busy the week is if I'm able to get to it. Another once a week deep clean that I like to do is the stove grates. They're the cast iron grates. I'm not really exactly sure what they're properly called but that's just what I call them. I try to get the sink as empty as possible and I try to get the dish area as empty as possible because they are big and they are heavy. They're cast iron. If you have cast iron, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you have a cast iron dish, you know what I'm talking about. They're heavy. So I try and get everything seared out so that when I clean it, nothing's really in the way and it's not resting on any, not rusting, resting on anything. If only I could talk. <laughs> I picked up some of these Alani New energy drinks. This one is the Hawaiian Shaped Ice. I really, really like these. I haven't tried one that I haven't liked so far. And Target sells them, some Target sell them, and then uh, GNC for sure sells them. And it's a brand made by Katie Hearn. If you follow her on Instagram, then you know who I'm talking about. If you don't, you should give her a follow. She is a really down to earth businesswoman and she's just so inspiring, so. Yeah, I've been drinking these and they have replaced my afternoon coffee and they give me a little bit of energy just to get through the rest of the day. He's a So 
Now we're moving on to the blinds because I have noticed lately that they were looking really dusty and I started going left to right and realized that wasn't doing much so I went down instead and that seemed to do a lot more. It got them pretty much completely dust free but these were also pretty gross because this is over by the dining room table and my kids like to splash food. It happens, you know, so this ledge and these blinds had some food all over them. So I went ahead and just took a disinfectant wipe to get that all clean. Tell me in the comments down below, what is your least favorite and most favorite thing to deep clean? I actually really enjoy deep cleaning a lot of the time. I feel like it's super satisfying. There isn't many deep cleaning tasks that I mind doing. And probably because it's one of those tasks where you're not doing it all the time too, so it's not super repetitive, so you don't have that boringness of it either, but I really don't mind deep cleaning. So y'all let me know in the comments down below too if you enjoy these deep cleaning videos more than the regular ones or just as much, and I will keep them coming. I love doing makeover videos on this channel and I hope you enjoy them as well because I have quite a few coming. This room is actually the next one that will be done. I have so many great ideas for it. I am super excited. It is gonna look amazing and y'all are gonna be blown away with how it turns out. My number one task for this day was to tear apart the couch and clean it because every time I go to pick up the cushions and kind of move them back in place because they slide around a bit, I can feel in between the cushions that there's like, I want to say crumbs, but we don't really eat on this couch. So I really don't know exactly what it is, but I knew that I just really needed to take it apart and really clean it. See what I'm talking about? I don't know what all this is. We literally barely ever eat on the couch. Every now and then the kids will bring their snacks over to the couch and I will miss it for a few seconds. But for the most part, we do not eat our drink on this couch because it is brand new. We just got this couch literally three months ago. So that's three months of dust and everything. I'm kind of just blown away to be honest. I didn't think that it was gonna be that dirty because we don't eat or really do anything on this couch but then again I mean things collect right so has to be cleaned
Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page Should it be someone else I would And let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious But I'm made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by Someone save me For a pass out I'm too lonely To be done in my drink at this page Cleaning the couch like this was so satisfying. This was one of the most satisfying cleans I've done in a while. And tomorrow when I go to sit on my couch after doing all of this, it is gonna feel so great knowing that if I go to move a cushion and put my hand between them, I'm not gonna feel anything weird. <laughs> I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. A frequently asked question that I get is what vacuum am I using? And this isn't just a handheld vacuum, it is the cordless Dyson. It is the old version. I want to say this is a V6, and now they're on like V11, V12. I'm not even sure, but I actually scored this at TJ Maxx. It was an open box item, so I literally got it for like $130 when they were still new, and these things were selling for like $400, $500, so I got super, super lucky with it. I do need a longer battery life now that we have a bigger house, but I make it work, especially for tasks like this. It's just so easy to use. I bet you think that I should calm down Thinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time Now we're moving on to taking care of this area rug. I got this Bissell Cordless Max Vacuum Mop. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember exactly what the name is, but I got this um, probably about two months ago and I have yet to use it on the area rugs, but it has an option for hard surfaces and area rugs. So I really wanted to go ahead and give it a try. It did pretty good. I mean, I didn't have any really big stains or anything on this. Uh, there was a few little spots and it got it right up and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really, really great tool to get the rug really cleaned and probably pretty well sanitized too. And this is my dining room rug and where the high chair is. Tristan always gets stuff all over it. I probably should pick it up right away with this thing and I'm going to now, now on for the future, I will be picking it up right away now that I have this and everything, but I had some food that was like dried to the rug. I did eventually get it off. It did take a little bit of going over it a few times, but it did come off. Why can you be trusted? 
All right, friends, that is it for this deep clean with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got as much motivation as you needed. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for choosing to click on this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Before I'm doing